Welcome back to the May edition of the Library Roadshow. With summer right around the corner, our thoughts turn not only to summer reading, but also summer fun with fabulous storytellers, musicians, and other performers. And we're so lucky to have a special guest who does it all, Johnette Downing. Johnette, how long have you been performing music and writing books for children professionally? For over 26 years, I have dedicated my career to writing songs and books for children. I want to share music and books with children the way my parents shared it with me at such a young age. My father was an avid reader and had a library in our house filled with books from the floor to the ceiling. My parents were also musicians, so for me, music and books go hand in hand, which is why many of my books are also songs. Johnette, what influences your writing and performances? I was fortunate enough to have been born in Louisiana, a place rich in music and cultural heritage. My songs and stories reflect my passion for sharing my Louisiana heritage with children around the world. In my music, you can hear Cajun, Creole, Jazz, Zydeco, and Caribbean influences. And my books tell about Louisiana animals, food, folk life, and traditions. What's your favorite song or story to perform? My favorite song is I've Got the Blues. And it's about a chameleon who one day feels like being just blue, rather than green or red. My favorite story is why the oyster has the pearl, because it's, because it's the only book that I've written that came to me in a dream. What's your favorite thing about performing for children? It's such a tough crowd. I love to make children laugh, think, and move. When will you be touring East Baton Rouge Parish Libraries? I will be performing at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library from June 23rd to July 2nd. For more information about my schedule, books, music, and programs, visit me at JohnetteDowning.com or like me on Facebook at Facebook.com Downing and on Twitter at Johnette Music. Thanks, Johnette. Come see Johnette in person next month at a library near you. Hello out there in TV land. Today we have a craft for you that will have mom's heart blooming with love. Handprint flowers. Let's make it happen. For this craft, you will need a sheet of paper for the background and for your pot. You'll need green construction paper for your hand, um, varied pieces of scraps, maybe some of the ones you've used earlier for the flowers, a marker, some glue, and of course a pair of scissors. First things first, you want to cut out your flower pot. Um, if you can't freehand one like the lovely Chandra has done, you can get a template from the internet. Next thing you want to do is trace your hand or the hand of your child onto the green construction paper. After you trace it, you want to cut it out. Then you want to take your other scraps of paper and cut out several flowers of different colors. Again, this is one of those things you can freehand or you can look for a template on the internet. You're going to then glue your hand on the background of the paper and glue the pot slightly overlapping the hand. Next, you're going to glue your little flowers onto the fingers of the handprint. After you finish all that, you're going to finally write Happy Mother's Day on the pot. Mom will adore this special bouquet made with love. And this craft ends happily ever after. Thanks for sharing, ladies. That's definitely a keepsake. The Library Roadshow will be back in a moment. And coming up after the break, a spotlight of just a few of the events on the library's community calendar. And then page turners. Stay right there. You're watching The Library Roadshow.